Wait, he's been beaten only twice, once in his own world title attempt against Mike McCallum last May. Maybe Michael Watson plus another world title shot at his targets now. But first, he needs an impressive performance tonight against the Puerto Rican Ismael Negron. Our commentator in Dewsbury is Jim Neely. Generous applause from 1,500 people packed into the Dewsbury Sports Centre. And uh, the object of their attention, and indeed I suspect a fair amount of affection, is the man just divesting himself of his white robe, and that's Harold Graham, the senior professional by a long way in Britain at the moment, 31 next September, and can the topsy-turvy career of one of the most enigmatic boxers that Britain has produced in the last couple of decades take a very positive upturn. Harold Graham must win this contest tonight, and he must win it in considerable style if he is to be in with any sort of a chance of another crack at a world title in the not too distant. Second out, round one. A 30-year-old British champion, Harold Graham, cuts a very imposing figure and already into that familiar arms held low stance of his, a stance that's taken him through 42 successful contests and a 44 contest professional career, which has stretched back to the year of 1978. But Graham knows that time is not on his side. That's an interesting opening tactic for him, really throwing his opponent right round, wrestling style. Referee Brian Hogg looks on, says nothing. Good right hand from Graham to the head of uh, Ismail Negro. This is his 22nd professional contest. And Graham really starting off with a fair amount of aggression, and he's got to do just that. He can't afford to take his time and try to dance and keep his hands down the way he did against Mike McCallum. The man who inflicted only the second uh, defeat of Graham's professional career. Break. The other to Sambu Callum Bay who beat him a couple of years ago for well, the European title, which Graham held at the time. That very much an upset. Graham, by his own admission, did not fight a terribly good contest against McCallum in terms of his tactics. And with a very small ring here tonight at Dewsbury, it's only 16 feet by 16 feet. Normal championship rings, 20 by 20, so there's about 35 or 36 percent less canvas than Graham would normally be used to. The only honor that hasn't eluded Harold Graham in this professional career is the most important one of all, the world title. He's held British and European and Commonwealth titles. British champion, good left by Graham. Negron, about a couple of inches shorter, but interestingly a pound heavier at the way in. Good right by Graham, but he was moving backward. And Negron trying to make sure he's keeping inside the longer reach of the British champion. Watch the head. vastly experienced. Somewhere at the back of his mind, there must be gnawing away a little worm of doubt as to his future. There's the old familiar hands down Harold Graham. Right. So a typical Harold Graham start. Round three. Harold Graham's last contest was in November, and then he defended his British title successfully against former amateur star Rod Douglas, who, unfortunately for Douglas, had to undergo brain surgery. I think everybody is quite delighted that Rod Douglas is fit and well, and has turned his not inconsiderable talent to doing some commentary. So Harold Graham very relieved about that but his mind and other things notably a victory here tonight 
and the possibility of who knows another crack at a world title. Grant shakes his head in frustration. Then finding him easy to hit. American covering. The people feel that perhaps Harold Graham is not much of a puncher, but uh, 24 of his 42 victories have occurred inside the distance, and that's not a bad percentage. This is round three. That's Graham's own corner. And Ismail Negron on the ropes. And down he goes. Well, there didn't seem to be a lot behind that. And I don't think Negron is going to get up. Brian Hogg right beside the timekeeper. And he's gone. Well, he gets up, and Harold Graham shows no sign of emotion whatsoever, not even a grin on his familiar features. Now there is a little hint of a grin. Brendan Ingle in there. Right beside his protege, the man with whom he's stuck just about through thick and thin for the last dozen years. And Harold Graham, with not even a minute and a half of the third round gone, has got the victory that he needed. And it came after about a minute and a half well, it might just have been that very, very hard-looking left to the middle, and indeed it was. Oh, Negron really doubled up from that. Harold, well done. Uh, the finish and just about, as far as you were concerned, the right number of rounds that you really needed. Yeah, I mean, I haven't fought since last October, I think it was December, and uh, I needed another warm fight just to keep me in the picture as well. And that was a good fight. It was, it was awkward at the beginning, but I suddenly wore him down and got an aggressive of him because he couldn't get the grass to me. It's not too often we see you stop people with, with a body punch like that. Tell me, tell me exactly what happened. Uh, well, I don't really know. I heard Brendan and Brian down at the ringside shouting, uh, switch the body, switch to the head. Hit him with the left hand to the body and hooked him to the right hand over the head. And he suddenly went down with the two combinations. And that was it, really. I mean, we've been practicing on Johnny Nelson <laughs> and the rest of the guys in the gym with Fidel and Graham. So it came a treat for me. It came OK. The big question, obviously, is what's next. I know you've been in communication with your manager, Barney Eastwood, who's in a hospital in Belfast. So what's the state of play between the two of you? Well, he's uh, rung me up a couple of times now. And the state of play at the moment is that we are talking, we're on speaking terms. And um, the fact is that he's trying to get this world championship shot for me, um, which I want. So uh, on that, at least, we say we are talking and get into grass on there. Harold Graham, still a force to be reckoned with and making sure that we've got time for more boxing before.